This is William. Hello. At just under six years old, he's spending the morning at Rural Radio for a birthday breakfast. Come along to the party very soon. I bet they've eaten all the cake. I bet it's all gone now, isn't it? However, unbeknownst to William, Rural Radio have a few surprises in store for the birthday boy. Two, three. All this is thanks to the efforts of a dedicated team, led by volunteer John Jerome. And when I saw um, there was a, an appeal for as many cards, birthday cards, to be sent, um, I approached the station and said, is there something we could do to publicise this? So I rang around basically local people, um, local companies, friends and everything else, and managed to organise a few gifts and things. It's, it's just been overwhelming, it really has. It's, people have just been very, very kind. It's just, it is as simple as that. If we can't spoil a six-year-old little boy, then what can't we can't do anything as far as I'm concerned. So I was the more the merrier. I just wanted to make sure he had a great day. It's his birthday tomorrow. He's going to be spoiled all over again. And then there's another birthday party on Friday. I don't think there can be too much for a child who's got this condition. William suffers from Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which affects one in every 3,600 boys, with females being rarely affected. Due to progressive deterioration of muscle, loss of movement occurs, eventually leading to paralysis and premature death. There is no current cure. William's not fully aware of his condition. He does know that he's different when we go out with his friends and he has to take his wheelchair. And he's very good, he will sit in and have a rest, but he does get frustrated at times. I mean, we obviously haven't disclosed, you know, the extent of his condition and that it's terminal, but because it doesn't affect the brain because your brain is in a muscle, we will have to explain that to him at some point, and probably before he looks it up on the internet, which means he will still be very young when he knows that his life is going to be cut short. He'll remember today, he'll never forget today. I couldn't have this memory, I wouldn't be able to make these memories if it wasn't for the generosity of people worldwide, and it's not something I could have done on my own, and for that I'm eternally grateful. I don't know how I'm going to top it next year. <laughs> <laughs> With his birthday celebrations far from over, there is no doubt that William will have a very special week indeed. Andy McClanahan, Bay TV, Liverpool News.